Winsett will throw, and it's intercepted. Kevin Winston Jr. is a long, rangy, and physical safety with the eyes and instincts to make plays from sideline to sideline, aligned all over the Nittany Lions defense. Winston burst onto the scene in 2023 with his downhill ability in the run game and high-level coverage ability at varied depths. As a prospect, Kevin Winston is as sure of a tackler as they come, as his 2% missed tackle rate ranked second among all college football safeties. He also was the only FBS safety with 85.0 plus grades per PFF in both in coverage and run defense. His 90.6 PFF run defense grade was third among FBS safeties as well. His well-rounded game will likely evoke some comparisons to another great Penn State safety in Jaquan Brisker. In coverage, Winston's instincts pop off his tape he has experience as a single high safety, nickel corner, and off-ball linebacker. Has the ability to completely erase TEs out of a progression due to size, speed, length. Concerns remain about an inconsistent pad level downhill and a frame that must get stronger. Winston plays a physical brand of football, but can approach contact high at times working downhill. The departure of Manny Diaz and the subsequent addition of Tom Allen as defensive coordinator will shake up Penn State's secondary this fall. Penn State will introduce the Lion, a position similar to nickel cornerback with some added linebacker type responsibilities. Penn State also seems likely to play with four linemen, two linebackers and five defensive backs more frequently making this year's personnel even more important. While Winston won't like play that role in 2024, his ability to do a little bit of everything for the Nittany Lion defense is still noteworthy. Let's watch some highlights. He's been doing all day attacking. Second season for Diaz here at Penn Ball State. Out. Balls Ball on the out. ground, and Penn State recovers. State gets the stop on a missed field goal from Alex Felkins. Now on first down, Hauser back to the air, lost one towards the sideline. Malik Carr can't bring it in. Tight. Third down. Third down and seven to the 29. Off his back foot, Altmeyer incomplete and no flags. Off. Back to Murray. Down the middle. A little bit off target. Now the coaches feel that and they feel like he's improved. <laughs> He's gotten calmer, under control, felt the pressure there. Oh, what a catch by Nate Carr. Needs him quickly. They don't get it there. Maybe a half yard. So we check in. The third punt for Thompson. And he must it. happen again. Ball is loose. Penn State's got it. Defense that has not allowed a third quarter point. Ball season long. The Penn State Nittany Lions. Hemby. Stiff arm and no dice. McCarthy, quick strike underneath, not then doing. Flag of Rutgers. And nowhere. Carter with the longest run of the day, 12 yards on that one, sets up first down and 10. Hauser put that in a dangerous spot. Stands in there and delivers a strike to Trey Harris. Looking to throw again, had a man in his space, got it complete for Penn State they use the first of their three timeouts and this has been Bryant and he hangs on to the ball in the three catches and three touchdowns on the year here's the handoff to Mayan Williams straight away and he'll called two no hitters in my career and I said no hitter the whole time anyway second and ten the analyst didn't get